It rolled up. Too good, bro. He's certified pilot. I'm high, bro. Let's jump into this joint. Okay, so the what we got here. Okay, so let's say Timber Knob Volunteer Fire Fire Station Ozark County, Missouri. Missouri. Did Missouri just go medical? What's this about? What's this about? Okay, hold on. We just looking at this Facebook post. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The department in Timber Knob. I have searched online for eighteen minutes to no avail, as he has many police friends. If you could say that you found through research due to recent interactions in the county instead, any other tip would be great. Could you send info on felony removal? Oh, okay, okay, so 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 somebody's trying to figure out information on weed on 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 weed meeting and um they not they uh can't find the minutes do 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 townships post their minutes online? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so you got the phone number. Uh, how long are you gonna stay on this? On this. Uh, okay, so hold on. Okay, so this is the dude posting this. You a stoner, bro? All right. All right, bro. I believe it. Hello. First, I'll say hi to the trolls who are uh, tuning in because they have notifications on on my channel. Uh, I was contacted by a gentleman who works many years in the Gainesville, Missouri Fire Department, uh, Timber Knob, and uh, he has a, got a medical marijuana card because he's an older guy, and uh, Missouri says you could have one. I was in court, and Judge Gross was telling some people who appeared he didn't like the medical marijuana card. Well, evidently, this gentleman was maybe up to be chief, and they gave it to someone else because they don't think it's good that one of the volunteer firemen who has been there for years, he said he's a convicted felon, but he has been there for many years. I'm taking that he's honest, uh, that this is a true report. I've had many threatening phone calls. At the end, I'll put a screenshot in where I am reporting them to the local sheriff's office and there's a deputy that's going to be investigating and one of uh, Josh Johns's friends called the other day and made some threats and okay let's pause for a second okay uh I imagine this is this so so this seems like this is an attorney and he's representing a uh a ex felon well you can't can you can you be an ex felon you can't really be an ex felon he's 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 representing the felon who uh has been volunteering at a um fire station for x amount of years and he's getting ready to be chief but he got so he went and got his med card because missouri just went med medical i guess i guess the the, the town's folks in whatever part this dude is in i guess they voted against going medical so anybody who has they, they medical card and shit they they they, they try to hold them back or you know, when you play with the future and shit. If that's the case, bro, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit, bro. So, uh, this gentleman says that he didn't get the promotion to be chief when he had been there for many years. And I think if anyone in Ozark County Commission or has a problem with this guy being in the fire department i mean the police officers are trained with knowing how to tell if people are on drugs they have an eye test they test the pupils of the eye i don't know exactly how they do it but instead of a dui and certainly the guy shouldn't be operating in a truck if he's under the influence of marijuana but i think uh he 
a good person would say, oh, no, I was in pain and, and I couldn't go and would have someone else as a backup or someone else as a driver. But certainly the guy shouldn't be railroaded out of the Timber Knob volunteer fire department after giving many years of service, as he told me, to his community. He loves his community, but he's fearful. He wants to remain anonymous, but he he figures, he told me, he said, when I do this, uh, that people will know who he is, and I think it's wrong for them to force him out of the fire department, someone who's a viable member of their community and been there for a long time, so. That's ugly, bro. Yeah, that's ugly, bro. Especially, you know what I'm saying? If if he if he is a felon, right? And and he managed, you know what I mean, do his time, come come home, you know what I mean, turn his life around, just you know what I mean, get fly straight, you know what I'm saying, and do do everything by the book. And then and then you know what I mean, they still try to railroad him. That's 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 fucked up, bro. That's fucked up on that whole town, bro. Uh please like, subscribe, and share to my YouTube channel. Uh we have a legal defense fund started. Uh, you contact me about that, and I'm also running for U.S. Senate, Missouri U.S. Senate. You know, a lot of people say they're not an attorney. Uh, they've never ran as a politician, and I would say any of these guys that are attorneys are politicians. Uh, the attorneys must be politicians to uh, negotiate. Uh, it's part of their job is negotiating. Uh, part of their job is being a politician, and uh, I think uh, that's why we've been attacked so fiercely for trying to tell the truth about what happened to our family. So thank you for listening. Again, please like, subscribe, and share. Timber now volunteer fire department. Oh, they some haters, bruh. Hey, they some haters. How we putting them on blast, though? In this call, he says, friends with Joshua... Trust for us and serve in peace. Threaten the what? They threatening to whoop you, bruh. They trying to run up on you, bruh. Yo, you might need to get strapped, bruh. I know Missouri is a red state, bruh. You um, strap up in Second Amendment, one of them niggas, bruh. <laughs>